Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vintage Story. I am the Radio Man 03, and it's awesome to have you along. How's everybody doing? Oh, I do that all the time. I hit E to open the door. <laughs> uh, oh, all my torches have gone out. Gates wide open. Ugh, sloppy. Yeah, yeah, we've um, yeah, we've got no light around the property right now, so I've got to get some torches going. I need sticks and I need wood. Hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. I'm gonna get some sticks and some wood. Uh, today I grabbed the watering can yeah look at the torches are out out here too yeah I just lost all of them it seems like our chickens still here though oh yeah there she is <laughs> uh, once spring gets here I'll put some blocks down take that second la layer of fence oh that scared me the pig scared me um, and I'll you know uh, we'll see if we can entice a rooster and possibly another hen into there that would be pretty cool I think um, so do I have sticks I have 41 it's nothing really uh, and I was doing some well I died I could I could I could say that for sure I did die <laughs> yeah I died uh, what I played I think Saturday or Sunday I think I played Sunday for about an hour or so and just kind of fiddled around the base do I have another jar of food down here and I wound up having a heavy temporal storm show up uh, I was gonna actually eat a second one of these wasn't I to get the protein and stuff up is that still the thing yeah, we need to bring our protein up. We need to bring everything up. So we need to eat fruit, vegetable, and meat. So this is perfect right here. We're going to eat this guy right there next. Uh, I need my bowl. I've got an empty crock in my hand. Food. Oh, there we go. Delicious. Perfect. Look at that. Do I have any more room up here? I don't. We, have, we need we need more shelves. We need more shelves, people. Maybe we could do some shelves over here. I like having them up here. It's really nice, especially once we start canning food again. Or, you know, crocking food or whatever the heck we call it. Uh, yeah, anyways, when we start doing that again. So I was working on the traps some more because, like I said, I was going to have a temporal storm show up. So what I did was, and it, it, it worked great. It was my fault. Uh, I did not check my armor, and I did I had, my armor had been broken by like that wolf that attacked us uh, in the recent episode. So I was not wearing armor and one of those um, bigger guys with the big claw uh, hit me outside here as I was going back and forth to the house. I tried to just take him on with the sword and he hit me twice and I was dead. So really, uh, I, I spawned in the house with the temporal gear, we placed it. Uh, I think I only get two shots at that, right? And then after that, I've got to place a new one. So the good news is, is the trap didn't, well, the good news is not that the trap didn't work very well. It did, I did not capture very many. Many spawned and wandered off that way and just did never come back. I wound up catching, I think, six in here. They did take fall damage, though, each and every one of them as they went in here. Um, campfire worked just fine. It was through the middle of the night, and I stayed nice and warm just right in here. And I was just kind of come out and kind of enticed to see if I get them to show up. But it almost feels like I need to have this fence gone, and I do need to have that trench all the way around just so they have a lot of visible access to me if i take this row down they can walk over the snow i guess i could break the snow away before the event began but um you know there's there i guess that's an option too isn't it i mean i could remove the snow from the ground uh, as the event if, just before it begins because you get plenty of time to get ready for it i suppose i could do something like that really I hadn't really thought about that. The other thing I thought of was I'll just dig the trench all the way around because, yeah, they did not... I caught a few, but not, not enough to say it worked. So maybe I'll try it again and see if maybe by... Yeah, I'll just try it again. We'll give it another shot and see what happens. Look how beautiful this place is in the snow. It is amazing. What time is it? 11.53, huh? I got three hours. What do I got? I'm mean, sorry, I got nothing. Okay, so... But I do have my uh, axe and stuff. Axe, yes I do. Okay, so we're gonna go chop down a few trees. Matter of fact, we may have some of the property that have sprung up. No, hmm. In less than a day. These guys have said in less than a day for quite a bit of time. I'm wondering if maybe trees don't pop up in the winter. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going back this way to get uh, some wood, <laughs> indeed. Uh, what's my temperature looking like? 37.4, we're good. We can go out for a little bit. 
I don't have my shears with me though. Every time we leave the house, I swear, every time I leave the house, I forget something that I wanted to have with me and I didn't grab. It doesn't have much life in it, but I might as well use it up, right? I mean, shoot, that's why we run out and grab copper before it got snowy like this, so I could spend an episode with you guys. We'll bang out some tools and stuff, you know? Now, last time we came through here, we had a wolf issue. I believe what it is, I'm cutting through this pass right over here. I question myself every time on this one. Sticks. And in this spring, once this stuff starts thawing, we're going to come out and get all these cattails, and we'll get our own cattail thing going too. Those are things I probably should have done in year one, but being new to the game and just trying to experience as many different things as possible to see how I felt about it, I think, I think we've done pretty good. And some of these things, you know, it, I'm not in dire need of any of those things because I don't really put myself in harm's way as, you know, I, I, I did get my butt kicked uh, over the weekend. It shocked me, as always. I was like, what? That's a hog. Is that a sow? Oh, that is a sow. I sure would like it if she would come home. She would come to my place, you know. I got to keep my eyes open for those wolves. Can we see what kind of rocks these are? We can. Okay, awesome. But they sure are tough to see on the ground. They're very tough to see. I'm also in the mood for resin. Oh, there's Speak of the Devil right there. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen, right here. Whoosh. Oh, look at how there's, there's no snow on the ground underneath this tree because of a canopy. That is so very good. That's really well done right there. I can appreciate that. Look at us, we're out here, it's winter time, it's colder than crap. <laughs> it is. Actually, I don't know that it's all that bad. Loose flint. Uh, we can cut this one down. Do I get sticks from these guys? I'm thinking I do, probably so, right? We could use some more pine because we're almost out of the pine. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's get some sticks and stuff. And we'll get some wood at the same time. We'll just continue to chop kind of our way through this forest because this is the way over to the, um, you know, the trader. So we'll take trees from here uh, each time we have to do it. Now, we're going to be getting farther and farther away each time, but I think in the long run, uh, you guys have encouraged road building. I've seen Hippie do the road building, and it does make you move faster. I know that. I just don't feel like I have the tools to be able to do something like that right now. I just don't. I don't have the stone. I, I don't get the stone that I need. Uh, so, I, I feel like if I wait until I get when I'm better tools, it's probably going to be... It'll probably pay off then. Okay, that just broke. That's it for that. How many sticks we wind up with? Um, 19. And then a handful there. There's another pine cone. That's alright. Is this a Is this a crying one? Now, can I use just my hand to do that? Or even the knife to get the sticks? I think I can use just my hand, right? I'm going to take that off my hotbar. I mean, that's how we start. It didn't seem like a lot of work for nothing there, huh? This one looks like it's fair game. So I hope you guys enjoyed your weekend. It is Monday. I'm going to try to record this and Valheim today. Thanks for everybody who has stopped by to check out the Valheim. We did a live stream Friday night uh, for two hours, which was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. We'll try to do more of that. Winter's coming, so, you know, winter is coming at my place, my neck of the woods. So, uh, you know, I have more time than to, uh, to record usually. That's usually when Variety and I will do something too. We've tried to do it a few times and it just has not worked out. Um, uh, during the summer, it's tough, you know? We kind of like being outside, so. Oh, Resin, are you here? Let's go up here and take a look. I have a lot less lag in this forest now. I don't know what it is or what changed, but I, I seem to have less of it, which is um, always welcome. Always welcome. 
So they did something here. There's a bunny. I'm going to take this one up here on the hill. I'm kind of picky about where I cut the trees down from. I don't want it to ruin my view, you know. Oh, I was going to grab... Well, we'll leave that one right there. Now here's... Okay, here's a little hillside. What about this guy? Does he have any... Uh, these fun funky looking ones like this, I always feel like they're going to have resin on them, but I guess they don't always do that. So we're going to grab this weird one here. Here, a raccoon. Oop. See that snow hit me? Pushed me down the hill a little bit there. That was pretty cool. Was flint. I'm looking to see if I can find some obsidian, because now I, I think of what an idiot I've been, because I was not realizing that, you know, when I see obsidian above ground, if I dig down a little bit, I'll find more obsidian. I, li I don't know what it is about the obsidian. I just like finding it, for Pete's sake. Oh, I should really have shears. I should make some. That's okay. We've got plenty of... we got to go a distance even to get through this, you know. This is just an incredible amount of trees in this area. Do we have any resin on this guy? It doesn't look like we do. And you guys tell me that if I plant these trees, I won't get resin on a tree that I plant. So, uh, I'm taking the seeds home with me. I guess you can see the, the stick in the, in the block with the leaf, right? You can see it right there. It's in that one. You can see the sticks in there. I'm going to go ahead and take this tree, too. I should try to grab some maple, but there's just no maple right now in this area. What time? Sorry, we're at 34. We should probably get going here. We're going to have to run back. We're going to start getting cold. Okay, there's Obsidian uh, map. I'm going to come back. I don't want to see this because I know I'm going to be able to dig here and find a bit. Purple. I'm going to use the mining thing and save. I want to see. I'm, I'm fairly certain that's going to be the case, but I just want to see for sure. One more. One more little one more little stump. Oh, I'm starting to shiver. I'm shivering. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Shivering. Shivering's not good. Let's run. I'm cold. Checking those trees for resin. It's a quick check. Oh, it's very cold. Oh, I'm a little farther away from home than I thought I was. There we go. We're good. We're good. There's a lot of grass growing back here, too. I think one of these times I'm going to bring the scythe with me when the uh, snow goes down. When we have our first melt. And then we'll uh, take advantage of that. We're coming. We're coming. We're coming. It's going to be warm. Hold on. Where's the gate? There it is. Oh, I can see it. <laughs> I'm cold. I'm freezing. I'm freaking out. I need to get inside where it's warmer. Get a fire going. Oh. Let's see. Does it, did my temperature come up on, on its own just from being inside? So far, no. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's throw you in there and you in there. 33.6. Okay, so it looks to me like I actually have to do something about it to improve it. It has to be done. Let's go over here. I bet this too is, is enough to get me back up to where I need to be to be uh, happy. Uh, you go in there. I need you here. There we go. Okay, so maybe it was starting to come up all on its own, because I was at 34 there when I opened it real quick. Obviously, the campfire is going to help us out tremendously. And then my temperature should balance out for the rest of the time while I'm inside. You see, we're already back up to 36. Um, oh, you know what? Two birds with one stone here. Let's uh, go ahead and make half of these into torches. Torches! Let's go get a little more of that wonderful peat. I'm glad we stockpiled a bit of it before winter got here. 
I do believe we should be able to find it still. Well, maybe not. You know what? It might be buried in snow. I marked it on the map, but it could be buried in snow. And it, the snow is really kind of fun because it does make it uh, a lot more work to have to, to do just about anything you want to do outside. It's amazing. Uh, okay, so I picked up a little more than a stack of the pine. That's all right. You know what? I'm going to throw these guys in here. And the seeds for the trees in here, since I'm not going to probably fill that up with too much pine. Um, and this right here, I'm just going to go ahead and turn that. Can I do that over there? Yeah, I'm going to turn that right into firewood. We'll stack that up. I don't know why I put you there. That's a little bit of wood. I mean, that's enough for me to use for some, for some building, I think. I think that's pretty good. Sun's going down. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's a beautiful snowy night. Look at this. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see it very well. But it is beautiful out. Oh my goodness, it is something else. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Look at that. There's snow up on top of that uh, that log that comes out of there. I love that. That's really cool. Okay, I'll come back. I'm uh, going to hang out here and decide. I guess what I should probably do is make myself another, uh, you know, a tool, right? If I'm going to do this, I, I should probably pour. I should probably pour another pick, too. It looks like I'm, uh, I've am i got the one in my pocket, and i got one upstairs. But then that's the last one I have. So I think I'm going to do that, too. He's probably melt down a little copper and make a mold and get a few more ingots going just so we have them. Yeah, well, let's do that. I'll, I'll do that real quick. Real quick. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Oh, wait. You know what? I have that other coal now. That's right. I got the free coal. Oh, these guys are right up against the house now. Indeed they are. Almost there. Yeah, I'm going to just make the uh, um, the shears. And then I'm, I'm going to make another hammer because this one's just about shot. So we're going to need one of these too. We hit, we hit that magic number just about. There it is. Boink. 1,100. Uh, where are you? There you are. There you are. And down. Spin it around. Down again. This one's pretty easy to make, huh? Thank God. There we go. And then we just have to knock out everything we don't want, which is a bit. But I tell you what, it sure is nice getting sticks with these damn things. It's very handy. Boink. There we go. Got that. Okay. One tool down. Now I need to uh, do some schmilting as well. You know, it's very relaxing to come in here and just do these everyday kind of things you have to do in this game. Does that make sense? It's just kind of an interesting... Uh, I don't know. It's kind of relaxing, I guess, is, is what I'm thinking. It's, it's, it's relaxing. Uh, I need 40 units of... No. Let's do 60. So I went ahead and got the rest of our hides going right now. Um, we have 25 leather. This guy needs to go. I don't have a I don't have a spot for him. So almost all the hide is going. We've got a few in here. We've got three three hides in here, and this is the heavy tannin or the right the heavy tannin. Strong tannin. Sorry, strong tannin. Uh, nothing in here, and then in the weak tannin, I have two scraped hides going on in here. Small. So I figured, since I've got some liquid left over in those, I would go ahead and just let them finish out their process in there. And then what we'll do is we'll, we'll get this kind of rearranged in a different way after those things are done. Uh, did I make it here? I was kind of stingy with the coal, but it looks to me like I might make it. I may have to use one more. There it is. It's the hot copper. Got a new pickaxe. A new hammer. It is kind of fun approaching it this way, the game. I'm not in too big of a hurry to 
you know, do too much. It's kind of fun to really actually just kind of come in here and just relax, sort of. Uh, beautiful. We did it just great. And we're warm. We got a little bit of wood. Fruit and vegetable. Oh boy, looking pretty bad. Mm -mm -mm. That's where you got to make the jam, huh? You got to store up the jam. Now, I can go downstairs. Now, I'm looking at the vegetable thing thinking, you know, I could really easily bring that up. I've got meat down here that still needs to be cooked. Point four hours? What? Oh my gosh. Point one hours in my hand. Oh no, I'm going to lose all that meat. I should have cooked when I was in here the other day. I should have cooked when I was in here. Oh, I screwed this up so bad. Get out of the way, everybody. Idiot on the loose. I lost all my meat. I bet if, it's, if I put this in here, it's going to say uh, it's going to be slightly spoiled, huh? One percent spoiled. Ah, oh, really? I'm going to make... Uh, no, I'm not. I did this before, and it was horrible, and it didn't work, and so that's I just lost that meat. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and do this instead. Oh, you know what? No, I'm going to take your guys' advice. When it comes to something like this, where I'm going to be eating out of it right away, I might as well make the full six. I have no berries, so... There we go. We got ourselves some hefty... Six or hefty turnip onion stew. I'm guessing that's going to be relatively good for us. It's not going to give us a punch like the vegetables do, or the uh, the meat stew does, but it will give us... I think it'll give us a good kick. And yes, we do have to replace all the torches so we have less of this noise going on directly outside of our windows. Ugh. How are we doing here? Alright. Well, that's good. Okay. We, we did a little something here. It's nighttime, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take four of the servings downstairs. I got another six being made right now. I'll put this right over here because I'm going to eat that next. And I, I'll jump into our stores some more when I see that the protein or something's going down. God, I missed all that meat up. That is, that's really sucks. I feel like I, I feel like I should, I should eat it, but it, it doesn't, it's spoiled. And we did that with the berries and it just wound up not being uh, kind of worth it in the long run, really. As far as I can remember. The food that we ate was just, it was no good for us. So I don't think it's worth it. But we've got some hot piping food right here. Oop. And we've got this guy right here that we're still doing the red meat stew with turnip and black currants. So th that should really help my fruit, I would think. But it doesn't seem to be doing anything with it at all. Uh, and I'll bring that other jar downstairs here too. And we'll just kind of hold on to that. And that's what we'll be eating over the next couple of episodes here. Shouldn't have combined those. Uh, I'm going to throw the meat back in here. What do I have over here? Grain? I got Oh, I got two things of grain. I didn't realize that. I know, I'm so rich with food, I lost track of it. What an idiot. <laughs> food is something I think about every day in this game. It's very interesting to me. Just how important it is. There we go, we got this guy. Let's throw him right there, and then you know what? We could take another crock. It's only going to have two meals in it, but we'll have that one available as well down there too. So we'll take the last two out of there. Oh, can I take the other two out of here? Oh, I can. Oh, it did. It picked them both up. I'll be darned. I didn't think I'd be able to do that just because they're in two different things that cooked at two different times, but... That worked out great. Okay, so we've got three jars of food down here. It's going to be just vegetable stuff, though, so it's probably not going to fill us up too much. But that's the price I pay for screwing up the meat. Uh, okay, so I'll be back. We did a little bit of cooking. Uh, we did a little bit of gathering. And, uh, you know, it's one of those busy days. Uh, invented story. All right, that bowl, please. 
two copper bars, and a couple of sticks. I guess if I just do that, that'd be better. There we go. There's a pick and a new hammer. Awesome. Put you right there, and the new hammer can go right over here for now. And so we use that one up. We'll use that one up first. All right, beautiful. All right, well, so we play some tools. We've got some food cooked. Oh, I could probably use a few more bandages since we burned through a few of those. Let's grab you, and... Oh, am I out of the horsetail? Am I out of... I must be out of horsetail. Uh-oh. Oh, that... Ooh, that's something... I thought I had horsetail in there. Let's see something real quick. No, there's no horsetail in there. No. Okay, I am out of medicinal plants. Uh-oh. Hmm... Well, that might be something we have to remedy right away. Oh, and there's the watering can, too. I guess we're going to try this out also, huh? It's 100% full. We'll try this out, too. We're going to, I'm going to see if it uh, helps with the garden out there. Okay, I'll be back in just a second. Welcome back. I'm thinking about putting uh, a log at the bottom of the staircase right here. Yeah. I definitely want to do something like that right there. Part of me wants to put it on a stone block, though. You know what? Um, let me let me see if I can find them real quick and talk to you guys about this. What did, what would I have done with the bricks? Oh, you know what? I think right here. Yeah, I made some of these um, blue clay bricks. Let's close that, and then let's... Ingredient for blue clay brick stairs, and these blocks right here look pretty sexy as well. Ingredient four, blue clay, clay bricks. So how do I make this? I need mortar, and for mortar I need... Oh, in a barrel, what? Slaked... S slaked lime potion plus this plus sand so any kind of sand huh we'll make the mortar this and mortar so if I take my how do I make this quick lime okay so the quick lime okay so I take the lime I cook it I get quick lime and I mix that with water in a barrel and then I get that solution okay Okay, I see. Well, we could do that. Because we have that stuff. We could make the mortar. I even have a little bit... Can I use the Peridot? I'm sure I could use the, the, that sand as well. Mm. I need the Quirin for that, though. Yeah, I do need the Quirin. So if I take this right here... And I crush this up, I should be able to then cook it in a fire, I think, is how it goes. Anyways, I'll come back. Let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to grind up some of this and get it going. I think it's for every two... For every two lime powder I get... That's What is this called? This is lime. Okay, so two pieces bake into one quick lime. Okay, so it says bake. So I'm assuming that I have to put this into uh, a campfire. We'll see. I, I don't know. It's cooking it. Let's see what happens here. It says it will create five quick lime. Okay, so we've got that. All right, awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind up a little bit more of this. And I'll cook some more up. And we'll make some of those darker colored blocks. I was thinking those might look good on the corner of the building underneath the, um, the pine pillars on the outside. I thought that might look kind of cool. It could solve our issue with some of the oddity of having the log hanging without the... I would like to have a brick right here, on this log right here. I would like to have a brick there instead of the wood going to the ground. Earth to ground contact. You can't have wood to ground contact. It's just it's just termites. You're just asking for it. You can think about those things. It's important. Look at that. We have a piece of quick lime in there. I need I know I need more fuel. I need more fuel for the fire. 
I used a piece of coal there. I don't want to be using the coal. Now, these bricks I made in... Uh, I had to uh, cook them in the pit kiln. But it's just clay. Just uh, clay in a grid. So I want to... Yeah, I would love to try those out, as a matter of fact. Uh, fuel. I need more fuel. So quicklime could be an expensive... Well, it is an expensive thing to make. I, we know where we can get plenty of it, though, right? And I believe I need the quicklime as well for... Um, wow, look at that. Wow, it gets, it has to get pretty hot, doesn't it? Hmm. I feel like I might be missing something here about this. So it gets hot and then it cools down. Is there another way that I should be doing this that would make it um, cook faster? Because I can see right now it's going to go through some fuel. I bet coal is probably a better choice to put in here because it burns longer. Because yeah, you can see that the temperature drops quickly on the quick lime. Hmm. Or is there a furnace that I could use that would work better? Well, let's try it. We've got some, right? No, I, I need to mix this with water then, don't I? Mix this with water. Hold on. Okay, so if I take this, and I take this... Oh. Okay, hold on a second. Let's take a look at that eight... Let's go back to our inventory. Hover over that. Hit H. Okay, how do we do this? Quick lime. In barrel. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. And oh, I need to use a barrel for this. Okay, gotcha. So we are probably not going to see this today, I don't imagine. Oh, it seems to me like I should make up a bigger batch than that then. You know? I've got an empty barrel here. I could just use this one. And I think I may set this up. Well, I want to make it so I can it's easy to get to the water. I'm going to set it right here. Uh, yeah, let's put you over here. So I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Let's go check on this again. Two more. Okay, it's going to take a lot more peat to cook that. I can see that right now. I'm thinking maybe a couple pieces of coal might not be a, a, a better choice. I keep crouching because I think I'm hitting control to run. No, I am hitting control to run. I think I'm hitting shift to run. I'm going to get my games confused because they both have different buttons that they're using. So I don't need this brick at all right now. It's not going to even be a reality. And the bricks, again, you got to fire them in the pit kiln, but we could do 12 at a time. And if it's an accent block in here, it'd be really kind of cool to have it because it looks like a really kind of a cool bluish black color, I think. I'm going to let that just keep cooking up. Uh, we have our watering can. Let's go ahead and eat a little something, and we'll go outside. I've learned something today. I believe I actually have this correct in what I'm saying is transpiring here. There we go. Uh, we are going to have bad guys out here, of course. A couple of them. This is great. He got hit twice by that one. He's walking in the house. Who are you, dude? I sucked at that.
Didn't have to tell you that, though, did I? You can tell. I think it's interesting how when you carve up their buddies, they don't like it very much. They actually uh, will come ar turn around and come after you. Especially after you just have uh, uh, you know, hurt them badly and they run away. If they see you start carving somebody up, they usually go pretty crazy about it. Yeah, you can come in. That's okay. You don't like what I did, do you? It's gonna happen to you. No one listens. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing on that guy. At all. Yeah, it's a nice day out here on the farm. Look at this. We're doing just great. Um... Oh my god, look at all this. Look at how deep this snow is. It's amazing to me how deep this snow is. We're still covered in snow on the roof. So, what does it say here? Moisture, if 50, I, I, I heard Hippie say this. If, if it's 50% above the moisture, uh, the crops grow better. You get a bonus for it. Moisture, hundred percent. Moisture, seventy-eight percent. Oh my gosh, really? No kidding. Look at that. Jumped it up to ninety percent. Oh my god, that's amazing. Now, what if I go... Oh my gosh, I can just hold down right-click and do this. <laughs> 100%. Now, some of you are right. I lose the green... Well, no, I got the greenhouse effect on everything here. Yeah, I do. Now, what's left in here? 47% full? Are you kidding me? Well, that's an easy thing to do. If all I got to do is hold down, <laughs> right click for a couple of seconds. Let's see. Let's try this again. Probably going too fast, huh? Oh, that is cool. I like that. Now, now you guys are saying that what you can do is you can put the water underneath this block right here. I want to be able to see that. It's likely to drive me kind of a little bit crazy. So if, if that's all there is to it, to, to watering the farm, that is nothing. The water source is right there. All I got to do is take the bucket in. I'm there checking the plants anyways to see what level of growth they're at, right? So just take a second while you're looking at that to dump some water on them. Oh, that is awesome. I love that. Well, that one to death. Okay, that's cool. That is some serious immersion right there. Um, the sun is out. I should be doing something outside, right? Okay, let me th let me think about what it is I need to do next. Uh, what is it that I need to do next? Let me think think about it. Well, we got it all. Okay, let's. Uh, I've got 14 of them. Can I put those in this barrel? Is that enough? That's not it. I gotta get 50, huh? I bet I gotta have 50 in there just to get that barrel to seal. Because it won't seal. Yeah. Let me know about that. If that's the case, I will make more. We'll go get some more of that. We can't do it till spring. There's no way we'll survive all the way over there to go get something like that. But we can do that. I would be really curious because I think that's the same process I have to do to make the... Um, let's go back to H. Um, no, I was, gonna, I was trying to look for a tutor, but that's not going to work. Um... Oh, what are they called? Um, plaster? 
There it is, plaster. These guys right here. I want to get to this stage right here. This is what I would like to build out with, uh, especially on a second floor of a building. There we go. Yeah, quick lime is required for this too, and then sand. So that's going to be a thing. Yeah, quick lime is going to be something that was is actually going to be in my future. So to learn about it would be a good idea for me. Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to decide what I need to do. I need to go outside and do something while it's daytime so I can get something accomplished that's going to benefit us uh, in the future here. Let's go outside for a little while. Just to be outside. It's only going to be winter for a little while, right? What is it? January 1. We're in January. What I do believe is going to be our coldest month. February should be like December, but getting warmer getting warmer let's grab these little bushes that are right here on our way out I would kinda like to clear this out a little bit because we do I believe have that cave right over here and um, I find myself I think it's right here actually I was thinking about kind of closing this up a little bit Ooh, maybe we could just take poke our nose down in here Oh, jeez, did you see that? That snow collapsed underneath. It was it was a fall. Look at this. See that bush right there? Yeah, this is a fake. You gotta be careful. That's quite a uh, tunnel right there. Let's uh, get that out of here. Let's put the dirt over here. I am thinking about sealing this off. should have everything I need. Hmm. Seems to me what I should do is probably take that out, that out. Let's get some uh, torches. I'm gonna put this in my offhand. Let's uh, put this guy right here. Be right there. And there's nothing here. Just a little waterfall. Okay, so I can block this off. And other than them moaning and groaning down here, uh, it shouldn't be anything that we have to take a look into again. So that's kind of a good thing, right? I mean, it's cool. That's good. I've got to think that this is like a spaghetti network of cave down here since we know we've got a very large cave system underneath us here. I've just got to think that's got to be the case. Let's go ahead and seal this up. See, we're outside. We're doing something progress. You know, we're, we're progress here, people. It's a cold progress. And this way, I don't have to worry about falling all the way down into there again. I'm going to use up this dirt right here. And we can get some more. I was just thinking, and I think I talked about already this episode, just how much more difficult it, I was thinking, I'll go out and get a bunch of blue clay. And I thought, you know how hard that's going to be to get a bunch of blue clay right now, this time of year? That's a lot of digging. Because the snow really does get in the way. I mean, there's not much... Okay, now it's going to make me a liar. But you, you wind up getting a bunch of snow, too. Or having to dig up snow. Oh, you know what? Here we go. This is the other one. This is the other one of these holes. It's pretty busy down there. I can see him. That's where they're making all the noises, right down in there. Oh god, 
listen to them all. There must be a there's got to be a whole ton of them down there. And this just kind of pokes out into another beautiful open hole. But they are definitely down in this area over here. Pretty heavy, it sounds like. I don't think they can actually get up here. Well, they got one of the stronger guys with them down there. I can see that. This guy right here. He's trouble. Well, there's even more of them down there. Yeah, there's a bunch. Here comes another one. It's really hard for me to see, but I can see them down there. For sure. I wonder if I could block that off and be able to attack them. Here they come. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, I let him up, I let him up. Ooh. Ooh, I let him up. <laughs> that was a close one. Woo. Okay, I'm killing him though. That's good, this is two down. Can I skin him from here? Let's see. It won't give it to me. Oh, look at this. Awesome. Okay, that was a close one. That was a real close one there. <laughs> oh, man. I forgot I didn't have a whole lot of dirt on me. Don't, don't block. Take your stairs out. They seem to be able to jump diagonally. I'm going to need more dirt to deal with those guys down there. That was cool. I need more dirt. Here we go. That's one. <laughs> Three. Come on, a little more dirt. Yeah, I was trying to pillar up when they attacked. Oh wow. There's just, these holes in the ground here are massive, man. They're just massive. I'm trying to get just a little bit more dirt just so I can mess around with those. Oh god! Oh, jeez. Could have been killed. Oh, that terrified me. Oh my god. I'm already on edge. The world is falling in on me. Crazy. You cannot place block here. Why not? A creature or player. So is it is that dead guy in the way that much? That sucks. He doesn't look like he's on this block at all, but I guess he's kind of catty corner, huh? Oh man. Because they can get up this far. <laughs> That's obvious. Look at them all. Three, four, five, six. There's six of them right there. Six of them. Alright, I'm going to uh, just chalk that up to experience. And we're going to head out of here. Looks like it's starting to get dark anyways. We got a wheel out of it. Oh my gosh, it is getting dark already. Can you believe it? Another day has gone by. It's 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 4:20 in the afternoon and it is getting dark out here already. Yeah, all these go into that one hole and they're down there just grumbling away. Get these bushes out of here. That way when I run through here I can see what I'm doing. 
Although you see these gaping holes, I can't seal those off. They're they're just massive, just massive. Oh my god, it's getting so dark. There we go. Let's start to light the place up again a little bit too while we're at it. Um, should probably put one here and one here. Right down here in the corner. And, oh, you went out because you got wet. There you go. Rekindled. How about you? You're just dead. Beautiful. Put one over here. Yeah, I, I went around and I was pretty pretty meticulous about of swapping them every time I came on. So I, I, it, they just, you know, eventually they just burn out. That's enough for here, though. I don't particularly like having to cook torches all the time, so... Um, actually, let's go ahead and replace this one here. This pig, I think he's... You know what? He's stuck. He's stuck in the snow on that other side, and he can't get out. <laughs> he's just stuck right there. Okay, now we got a little bit of light around here. A little bit of light. That, that's better than what we had before, so that's nice. Okay, all right, that is going to have to wrap up today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share on the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, fantastic, superb day, and I look forward to talking to you again next time.